Hello, my name is Chris from Curbside Laundries, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Touch Dynamic Razor POS system in your laundromat. To set up the Razor is remarkably simple. All you're going to need is the power cord, this is the DC adapter, and of course the Razor itself. Once it has unplugged into the power, you'll notice that the adapter has a green light on. That's how you know uh, power is running through just fine. Once you've located the DC in port, you're gonna grab your four pin connector and just plug it into the port. It should snap inwards, nice and firmly, and then you're good to go from there. So after plugging it in, there's gonna be a couple of lights that turn on. You'll hear a little beep. There we go. And that is really all that's required to get this thing running. Once you see the inside logo appear on the screen, you're good to go. Before setting up your printer, let's talk a little bit more about the Touch Dynamic Razor. So of course, this is fully touchscreen. The screen itself can be rotated on its axis, 180 degrees in either direction. So once it hits this end, you can just rotate it the other way. As I do so, you'll notice it has a built-in card reader that you can use to read any magnetic card. So on the underside of the Razer, we have two blue-colored USB 3.0, that's for fast data transfer, as well as two black-colored USB 2.0, and that's good for any kind of I.O. you'd like. On the front, you'll have your power button, and right next to it is another USB 2.0 slot. Now that we have our Razer set up, let's go ahead and set up our TM30 printer. So we need the printer unit itself, a USB cord that has the printer attachment, a roll of 72 millimeter paper, as well as the power cord. Uh, this comes in two pieces, but just like the Razer, you want to plug in the power cord into the DC adapter. To access all the ports we'll need, we'll have to remove the bottom cover. So what you do, is you just take your finger and you just pry it on its edges until it pops off like that. It's really simple. This gives us access to the power slot as well as your cash door slot, and you'll be plugging in the USB here as well. Once you have that off, you'll notice that the center has a legend that corresponds directly with the plugs on the close end of the uh, printer. We're gonna grab our three pin 24 volt connection, plug that one in. The next one we're going to grab is our printer cord. It has a kind of pentagon shape. We're going to plug that one into the according USB slot. After plugging that one in, we're going to make sure the other end uh, is properly cable managed. So go ahead and wrap the cords through the holes that are on the sides of the printer, whichever hole works for you. Lastly, we're going to grab our cash drawer cord. This is a one-way cord, so make sure that the properly labeled one goes into the cash drawer and the other one goes into the printer slot labeled here. You should hear a fine snap once it's fully plugged in and then feed it through the hole to properly cable manage it. To reattach the cover, we're just going to feed these teeth into the back of the printer. The plastic should snap in place. Now that your printer has been plugged in, let's go ahead and turn it on. So we're gonna hit this power button here. Right underneath the power button is the feed button if you ever need the paper to be removed. To add the paper to the printer, we're going to lift up on this tab. It's gonna open the printer like that. And then to load the paper in, we wanna make sure that the paper feeds from the bottom like this. We want it coming from upwards. So we'll just drop it in, close it, and it'll cut itself a little sheet of paper for you. So after you load the printer, all of the lights in the front panel should turn themselves off. This one blue light is just a Bluetooth connection. You can connect this to the Razer via uh, Bluetooth and it will work. However, we do recommend using a USB as the connection is just more consistent that way. So here we have our Razer again, as well as the USB cord. We're just gonna go ahead and plug that into one of the slots and we're good to go. That's all it requires. This does come with a set of drivers built into the Razer, so it should work pretty much out of the box for you. Plug in our cash we're just gonna grab the other end from the printer. Uh, make sure this is the correct end. These are usually labeled and we're just gonna plug it in until we hear a nice firm snap. Once that is connected, you're good to go. Lastly, we're just gonna be able to connect the scale to the computer. We're gonna grab our USB-B cord. We're gonna plug that into the appropriate slot on the scale. The scale does not need the power cord to be plugged in. Returning to the rear of the razor, we'll just grab the other end of that USB cord and plug it into the free USB slot. You should have then the scale, the printer, and the power cord plugged into the rear of the Razer. The other slots are free for use as well. And that concludes the hardware setup process for your Razer from Touch Dynamics. This has been Chris from Curbside Laundries, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.